Hello class! Good morning and welcome to our online class. It's me, Teacher Edson, your teacher in science session. Okay now, before we start, I would like to assure that you are ready in your comfortable place so you can focus in our topic that we are going to discuss this day. In checking our attendance, you just need to like this video so I can know that you are ready to watch our lesson this day. So now, in our lesson, we have our objectives. Explain why volcanoes erupt. Describe what happens when a volcano erupt. Identify the materials given off during a volcanic eruption. And discuss the hazard of volcanic eruption and how to avoid them. Unlike plate tectonics, which is a very slow process, volcanic activity is a rapid process. It takes a hundred thousand years for a mountain to be formed while a volcano could be formed in less than a year. A volcano can change the landscape of a place overnight. In Paricutin, Mexico, villagers noticed a man on their cornfield on February 20, 1943. They observed that the ground mound grew from a few centimeters high to become a cone of ashes. Within a year, lava peeled up to a height of 430 meters. When it erupted in 1944, lava flows covered the nearby towns leaving only the church tower visible. A similar event happened in Mayon Volcano when it is erupted in February 1, 1814. Mayon has a near perfect cone and its most active volcano in the Philippines. It buried the town of Kagsagwa in Albay province in Bicol. Only the church belfry remained visible after the eruption. And now, that is one of the tourist spots in that region. Now let's proceed to great eruptions of some volcanoes of the world. Mount Vesuvius is an active volcano in Naples, Italy. It is famous for its eruption in 79 AD when it covered the cities of Pompeii and Sabe with ash. Pliny the Younger, a Roman poet, gave an eyewitness account of the event. A sudden explosion occurred that was followed by a blanket of ash that fell on the cities as people tried to escape. Next, we have Mount Krakatoa. In 1883, a volcano on the island of Krakatoa in Indonesia erupted violently. The explosion was comparable to 3,000 times the power of an atomic bomb. The sound together with spewing smoke and rocks reached as far as the eastern coast of Africa. Hundreds died instantly in the town of Sumatra due to the flaming ash that burned houses. Also, many people were whipped out by giant tsunamis. The island of Krakatoa sunk deep has spotted on the same place in 1927, which continues to spew lava up till now. Next, we have the Mount Tambora. The eruption of Mount Tambora in Indonesia is said to be the largest volcanic eruption recorded history. Its eruption in 1850 turned the region into darkness. It killed thousands of people and many were drawn by a tsunami that followed the eruption. Others have succumbed to disease and starvation. This eruption changed the climate of the world and 1816 came to be known as the year without summer. The volcano itself collapsed and left a crater in its summit. Next, we have the Mauna Lao. Located on the island of Hawaii, it is considered as the world's largest volcano. Since 1843, Mauna Lao has erupted 33 times approximately. It is 97 kilometer long and 48 kilometer wide. It occupies about half of a big island of Hawaii. The name Mauna Lao means Long Mountain in Hawaii. Next, we have here in the Philippines, the Mount Pinatubo was a dormant volcano for six centuries, but a year before its eruption in 1991, 
a 7.8 magnitude earthquake struck near in its vicinity which caused the landslide and increased its steam emission. It spewed sulfuric ash on the day of its eruption which reached as a high as the stratosphere or about 35 kilometer into the sky. Over the next 15 months after its eruption, the average global temperature dropped by at least 0.6 degree Celsius. It killed hundreds of people. Now, the question is, why volcano erupt? Heat and pressure are the chief precursors of volcanic eruption. In the mantle, pressure increases and temperature can reach up to 1000 degree Celsius. This temperature is high enough to melt rocks and turn them into a thick, sticky fluid called magma. Magma is less dense than the surrounding rock, so it flows to the surface and rises through the weak spot in the mantle. As the magma rises and pressure decreases, resulting in a speed rapid expansion upward. If the magma contains a small amount of gas, it would simply flow to the surface, especially if it is non-viscous. But in most volcano, magma contains a large amount of gas and is highly viscous. As a highly viscous magma nears the surface, pressure above it drops quickly and the trapped gas suddenly escapes. This will result in a high explosive eruption. So that's all for our discussion. Hope you learned something from that. Our next topic is about the materials from volcanic eruptions. Thank you!